Tanisha and welcome back to another painting video. So for today's video, I wanted to do something simple, which I thought it was going to be simple. It ended up not being that simple, but more on that later. But yeah, I just wanted to paint something without having to sketch it and just have fun with it. So for this painting, I believe I saw this picture from Pinterest and then I painted it on my previous sketchbook, but then I wanted to paint it again. So yeah, it's just basically a moon on a dark background with like some fluffy cloud that's pink. And I really wanted to do that in this sketchbook again because I wanted to add it in my pocket sketchbook and I thought it would look cute. <laughs> Sometimes art doesn't have to have any real meaning. I just thought it was cute and I wanted to paint it that day. So I just acted on my impulse, I guess. But yeah, even though I was having a lot of fun in the beginning, painting the shape of the clouds, I did end up starting to get frustrated with making the cloud look how I did it in my first sketchbook and I think the tricky part and the frustrating part started happening when I started making it try to look exactly like the other painting that I had and that's when it slowly started getting more and more frustrating because I am still on the journey of trying to find my art style and usually when I paint landscape when I paint plants and leaves and grasses there's not too many issues. I feel like I have something set in stone with it, but clouds has been tricky from time to time. And usually when I paint a blue sky with a white cloud, it's not that bad, but doing it with a pinker tone and a darker background really made me realize that, oh, I don't really have an art style, a way of painting clouds that I'm satisfied with. And that's when slowly and slowly I got more frustrated with this painting process. And as I said, at first I was having fun shaping out the clouds but usually if you follow my paintings i usually lose like dabbing motion when i'm creating textures and i thought it would look good <laughs> when i would do it on clouds but when i would take breaks and step back to look at it i didn't like the way it looked like and i would also look at the viewfinder on my phone and the camera and that's kind of like gives me a better perspective i just didn't like how it was turning out so yeah, you'll see me try out a lot of method to make the clouds look how I wanted it to look. And in the end, it I ended up accepting how it looked like, but I just wasn't happy that I haven't found like a style, my own unique style and twist to it. So yeah, that's something, it doesn't need to happen within this painting, it, which is something I've realized. But yeah, I mean, art is always a work in progress. You're always improving, you're always learning, which is what I'm trying to tell myself. And yeah, I just have to keep reminding myself to have fun. So yeah, after kind of struggling with like the dabbing motion and adding colors and then covering it and adding colors again, I kind of switch paintbrush, which I wasn't expecting to do in this painting, but I will bring out in the end a fluffy brush just to try to blend out the colors more. So it ended up looking good, but not in a style. That's my usual style. But I think it's still a good painting to leave in my sketchbook to kind of show the journey of me doing trial and error and learning from them.
And that's when I pull out my fluffy brush in an attempt to make my clouds look more fluffier. But yeah, I thought I had my own art style into making clouds, but apparently for fluffy clouds, I haven't figured out yet how to do it in my art style. But yeah, we're working with what we have. I haven't pulled out this brush, for example, in a very long time. So I did end up having fun in that way, which is what I'm trying to tell myself. And I did. It was Fun to play around with colors, not what I was expecting when I first started painting. But it is good to have those moments now that I think back about it because it gets me to reflect back on my art journey and also become more persevered into trying to make myself better and better my skill and yeah, become a better artist hopefully. that I was finally done with the clouds so finally decided to paint the moon which wasn't as hard as painting the clouds so yeah not too much details needed there and I was happy to be finally done with the painting and I don't know I feel like in a couple months or so I'll probably come back to this painting and want to do another one of it just to see how far I've come along in my painting journey but yeah we'll keep it here as a reference or a memory and of course you guys will be coming along my journey as well and yeah hope you enjoy this very chatty paint with me i wasn't expecting to talk about that and all the struggles but i feel like sometimes it's good to mention about the struggle because it's not always flowers and roses in some ways but yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this video and paint it along with me or just listen along but i will see you in the next one Allez, bye